Here's a little idea, activity that we do for our theme of praise and prayer. We have a little story here that I tell the kids about God sending his angels down to earth, each one with a basket. One is to collect all the prayers that people ask, and the other one is to collect all the praises. So, we made our own little baskets. We have this one labeled praises. As you can see, my little toddler loved to scribble all over. That was her praise to the Lord. <laughs> and we have our basket of prayers. So, I find something, I use something that I have a lot of. I've been collecting a lot of marker lids, so that's what we use. They're colorful and fun to hold and to grasp. And after we read our little story about the two angels going down to earth to collect their baskets full of praises and prayers, we work on our baskets. I have here a little container with a nice um, lid that's kind of bendable. And we made a little arrow and I wrote on it, if you can see, it's not so clear. It says, thank you, Jesus, with the letters all around. It spells, thank you, Jesus. It's to remind us to thank the Lord for all our blessings and everything that Jesus does every day. Because if we really think about, think about it, we probably have more prayers than praises throughout our day. That's the story, that's what this story explains. The angel that came back to Jesus to give him the basket full of prayers was full and he was be she was beaming and so happy with so many prayers to Jesus. Oh, please bless my mommy, please bless my daddy, please supply me a new bike, please Jesus, can I have a new dolly? All those prayers that we pray every day. But the angel that was sent to collect all the praises came back to Jesus very sad because his basket was almost empty. So that was a good story to remind us to praise much more. So that's what we used for a theme on praise and prayer. And so what we do, we take our little arrow here, our little can, and we take turns and we pick it. It doesn't spin very well, as you can see. I'm still working on trying to find it just right. And we were up and we land on one of these letters that says, Thank you, Jesus. And we open our can and we have to thank Jesus. Oh, first, we have to thank Jesus for something that starts with the letter S because we landed on S. Thank you, Jesus, for sunshine. And in here is full of jars. Wow, lots of um, markerlets. So every time we thank Jesus for something, we add it to our praises. So during our school time or even during our meal time, we remember to praise the Lord for something. And then we can add an extra lid to our baskets when we have prayer time for protection before we go outside to play or before we drive in the car. We make sure to pray, and then we can come home and add another little lid to our basket. So at the end of the day, we see how we've done. Have we bounced them out? Are they pretty much the same? We can count them, we can sort them, and it's a good reminder to praise the Lord.